So, see the case of uh, operated tendo Achilles rupture on the left side. Uh, this was done about a year back. Now, he developed pain and swelling. This is continuous. It's a lot of swelling on the lateral ankle also. A lot of pain and swelling. And this is CRPS is all. So, I am planning to give dual block that is swast compartment and sacral plexus block in this lady. You see, it's a lot of difference. This is a case of uh, CRPS, uh, reflex dystrophy and uh, in, in her left lower limb for last one year. So I am planning to give two blocks. One is swast compartment, second is sacral plexus block. So I have marked the top of the iliac crust here and the posterior eye spine. And in between these two points, I have palpated the iliac crust. So in between these two points, I have taken a point of entry for the swast compartment block. Right? Now, this is the posterior iliac spine and just at the outer border of this spine, I have drawn a line that is three finger below, below the posterior spell eye spine, and this is this is three finger below the outer margin of the posterior eye spine. I have marked the point, so this point for the sacral plexus block. This point for the sacral plexus block. This is the midline here, and the previous scar is for the neck for the disc prolapse. So initially. I will, give, I will infiltrate little local anesthetic solution at the two points. Dalji, So, very smart. This is the just to anesthetize the entry point of the needle. Yes, I have given. And just inject little, very little amount. And then subcutaneously, intragonal, and leave it. Another point from here, inject. Just to anesthetize. Giving the swast compartment block first. I have taken little air and 5 ml BD syringe. From the previously anesthetized point, I insert the needle. This is 20 gauge spinal needle. Now it's already anesthetized. Now keep the needle 20, 15 degree towards the medial directions. Alright? And then insert. And you will find two. Now check for the resistance. You will feel two gibbe feeling the last one. And then further this is the first gibbe feeling. Now withdraw the needle. Tilt it little medially. Right to bone, so I have to change a little bit, withdraw it and change the direction a little bit. So now it's a little bit feeling here. Again, check it. Yes, a little bit feeling is there, and aspirate. There's nothing inside. Further, little more air. Nothing here, yeah. and then remove it. Of the local anesthetic solution that contains 7 ml 2% lidocaine with EDR, and then 7 ml BPBcaine 0.5% and 7 ml distilled water or normal serum. So, aspirate and then inject. Repeat the syringe, aspirate and then inject, rotate again, inject. again aspirate, rotate and then inject. So this 
this is basically a lumbar plexus block and this is known as a swas compartment block so i injected 20 ml of the solution here now look for the bigger station it is there the, the sacral plexus block now this is the point of entry this is the already anesthetized area just puncture the skin the direction from this point this line is basically from the outer margin of the postural spine direction of the needle down and out so this should be the direction of the needle check for the gibbe feeling so first gibbe you can ignore the first gibbe feeling the second gibbe feeling is important take it more here yes it is there the solution the direction is down and out stabilize it aspirate then inject and this should be free flow aspirate then inject going freely no blood in aspirate the needle length is 9 cm and i have used yellow color 20 gauge spine see for the regurgitation 